our next speaker is Alan Anglin. Alan Anglin. There he is. I'm Alan Anglin. I live at 17090 Evening Star Road, Edgerton. I've heard a lot of planning commissioners speak about ensuring financial viability of the applicant and describe a win 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 as a win for the county, a win for the applicant, next era, and a win for participating landowners. Missing from this equation has been non participating landowners who stand to lose and have raised valid concerns about the negative consequences of massive utility scale solar. A topic that has not received much attention. It's how such a massive land use may deprive nearby residents of future government services and private company investment. Government and private companies use demographic trends for decision making when the area isn't growing. It won't be at the top of the list for limited funding for school improvements, parks, walking or bike trails or other public services. The area won't be a pr priority for private investment either. It won't be on the list for extending cable and internet services nor improving cell phone coverage for voice or 5G. So as you think about win, 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 you should also think about the numerous losers created by such a massive land use in our county. Here's a simple solution. Simple solutions limiting the size, maximum size to something more suited to an urbanizing Johnson County. The maximum size was limited to a section or 640 acres and the character of the community is not overwhelmed by a single land use. The demographics of the area would continue to support improvements in both public and private services. The impacts to fringe cities would be mitigated as they could grow around projects of this scale and more landowners throughout the county could participate. As for the potential impact of a future applicant, a look at solar projects deployed in 2020 is informative. For the list of deployed pro projects provided to this commission by Stephen Clark, 162 solar projects deployed in the United States in 2020. 134 of those, roughly 85%, are 100 megawatts or less. 15 are in next era's home state of Florida and were all 75 megawatt projects. Only one project in the entirety of the United States in 2020 was deployed that is as large as that which Nextera proposes to put in our area. 161 projects out of 162 were smaller than that which Nextera proposes here. Clearly 2,000 to 3,000 acres is not required to make a financially viable project. To mitigate this, I urge you to consider reducing the maximum size to 640 acres. Thank you very much. Thank you.